Well, there are actually five basic mistakes that I see repeatedly, and I've seen them for well over two decades. They're very common, and they're very normal because people often want to try and explain themselves. So number one would simply be talking to the police. Now, a lot of people will ask me after they've talked to the police and after they've been arrested, they'll say, you know, they didn't read me my rights in every movie, every video, every Netflix I've ever watched. The police are always reading people their rights. Well, that's intentional that they did not read the rights, whether they're investigating a bar fight or they're investigating a domestic. And the reason they don't do that is they want people to talk to the police because that's one of their most effective way of gathering evidence. And since people naturally want to explain themselves, the police in a very non-threatening manner have been taught to manipulate people. And this is what they're taught. They don't want you to lawyer up and go silent. So what they do is they say, you're free to leave, you're not under arrest. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? And it sounds so harmless, so people start talking. Later, when they ask, well, why weren't my rights violated? It's very simple. There are two requirements on the right to remain silent that have to be present before someone's rights are violated. Number one, they have to be in custody. Well, this is why the officer is saying, you're not in custody. You're free to leave at any time. And secondly, it has to be a custodial interrogation. So prosecutors teach police officers how to approach people in what appears to be a non-threatening manner in order to get them to say things that are going to hurt their legal interests long term. And a lot of times people think they can talk themselves out of the ride. And what they end up doing is talk themselves into a conviction instead. Even if a person has a bad case, they shouldn't try and explain themselves to the police. For a free phone consultation, contact attorney Stephen Cobb in Florida at 850-466-1522 or visit his website at www.cobblawfirm.com.